Stop, is there a car in your blind spot? Now you may have seen the overhead signs lately on the east coast of Australia saying trucks have blind spots, make sure you can be seen. Now this is great advice for car drivers because most car drivers do not have any idea of the blind spots trucks have. Now I'm not going to tell you where the blind spots are, I'm sure you guys already know. And if you're a car driver, you should know. Here's a little graphic. Now two days ago, I had my first ever at fault traffic accident in a truck. And it was the classic blind spot accident. It was night time, it was a black car, it was a multi-lane road. I checked, I had a feeling there may have been a car there somewhere. I checked, I moved around in the seat. Now note, the dash cam is around three feet to my left and three feet in front of me. So my vision and what the dash cam can see are totally different. That car was absolutely invisible to me. I'm in a cab over K200. I have a window with a spotter mirror in the door. I have my regular mirror on the side with a spotter mirror. And of course I have my vision out the front. I checked, had a good look. I could see my side lights in the mirror. I could see there was nothing down the side of me. I checked again on the off chance there was something there. I put the indicator on, flashed it several times, and then slowly moved over straight into the side of a Mazda CX-30. Great. Now the thing is, yeah, she was in my blind spot, but at the end of the day, it's the truck driver's responsibility to make sure there is not a car in their blind spot. Because as much as car drivers should be educated on where blind spots are, and not to sit in them. Truck drivers should also be fully aware of their blind spots and to take extra precaution to check their blind spots and make sure they are clear before making a manoeuvre. Now I was changing lanes to the left. Like I said, I checked for this car. I had a feeling there was something there. I couldn't see it. I actually thought to myself, it must have turned off. I double checked because I was afraid there was something there could see no sign of it whatsoever, and then moved into it. Now thankfully, I didn't spin the car fully across the front of me. I actually collide with the rear wheel and start to spin the car. Uh, funnily enough, I didn't even feel the car. I did hear it though. So as soon as I heard it, I moved back into my lane and that was the only thing that stopped her from getting spun across the front of me and probably ending up being fired into the oncoming lanes. So thankfully, that didn't happen. Thankfully, she got away with it unharmed and there was as little damage as there was. The truck sustained no damage at all. A couple of marks on the bar, a bit of polish, you wouldn't even know. So the point of all this is, yes, if you're in a car, be aware trucks have blind spots, try not to sit in them. But at the end of the day, it is the truck driver's responsibility to make sure there is nothing there so when you change lanes, or you merge, or whatever manoeuvre you're pulling, when you do that, it's your responsibility to make sure that there is no vehicle in that spot. It's not always easy, but it's part of the job. And hopefully, all these campaigns to get cars to be aware of blind spots will help by not having cars sit there. Now, I have no issue with where this girl was sitting. It was in traffic on a multi-lane road night time coming out of Sydney. It was a 60 zone, it wasn't a freeway, it wasn't like she was just sitting there mindlessly unaware of the truck and unaware of the danger. It was traffic where her lane could move, my lane could move, you know, it was just bad timing. It was one of those things where I'd been trying to get over for a little bit, I was watching, I finally had the opportunity, I had a feeling there had been a car there, I double checked, I was sure there was nothing there, thought it had turned off, it hadn't, and I collided with it. My fault. I'm the driver. I turned the wheel. She's just in her lane doing her thing. Wasn't the safest place to be, but in all honesty, it was my responsibility. Nobody lives the perfect life. But that's what makes us human.